Thanks very much, uh, Cahirlock. Uh, can I ask the leader through you, Cahirlock, uh, if uh, he can today make contact with Minister Coveney uh, and finally get a solution uh, to the delay in farm payments to the many farm families throughout every county in Ireland? Uh, in, I'm sure all of us through our own constituency uh, clinics and advice centres have had representations uh, with regard to these delays uh, at this time every year for several years uh, with these satellite pictures that are taken, digitising and other delays. Um, having checked just before I came in here this morning uh, in the areas of Donegal and Sligo and Leitrim, there is a delay of some 6,000 farm families who are awaiting payments uh, for the area of natural constraint payment or the disadvantaged area scheme as we would have known it uh, and indeed the basic payment. Uh, this is completely unacceptable. I mean, what we have is farm families who are trying, uh, like many others who are in business, to make ends meet. At this time of the year, many have insurance payments to make. They have loan payments to make. They have to buy feed and fodder in the normal way. And then we all uh, acknowledge the added pressures financially uh, that the Christmas season brings uh, for all families. It is unacceptable that these 6,000 families in Donegal, Sligo, Leitrim and North Roscommon uh, have had these delays. If any of us are late with our VAT return, or if any of us are late in filing accounts with the company's office, uh, or in a, 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 our tax return to revenue, penalties apply, surcharges apply. What is going to be done for these farming families throughout the country? Nobody cares about them. They're a number in a computer as far as government departments are concerned. But they are the people and families on the ground that are making local communities tick uh, and, and funding uh, the local economy. It is unacceptable the level of delays that these people have in effect for payments that they are due as a matter of wages. As I've said, to make vital payments. So I would ask, Leader, that you make personal contact with Ms. Minister Coveney today and as a matter of the utmost urgency, advance these payments. As I've said, I've mentioned the 6,000 families in Donegal, Sligo and Leitrim, but I'm sure in your own constituency in Waterford, in Cork, in all counties, uh, that there are similar numbers awaiting these vital payments and for no good reason. And I wonder what, in addition, will be provided to them by way of compensation in the way that when the shoe is on the other foot for collecting revenue that we as a state like to take from them.